Welcome back to another learning studio in two minutes. In today's video, we're going to continue with for loops, but this time we're going to take a look to see how we can use for loops with models. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and get started. All right, so for this example, we have a model with a couple different parts inside of it. And let's go ahead and take a look at how we can use a for loop to loop through these different objects. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is just make a variable for the model. Next, we're going to be using a for loop to loop through all the objects in this model. It's going to be similar to the for loop that we did before, but there's going to be a few differences. So in this case, we're still going to start with the word for. After that, we're going to define two counter variables. And this is going to be similar to the letter i that we used in the other for loop. So in this case, I'm going to say num, comma, and then child. After that, we're going to say in pairs. Inside the parentheses, you're going to start with the model that we're going to loop through. So we created a variable called model for that. And then we're going to say colon get children. And what this is going to do, it's going to get all the children inside the model. Outside the parentheses, we're going to say do. And then inside the for loop, the first thing we're going to do is say print. And then we'll print off the num variable and the child variable. All right, so let's go ahead and run our code and take a look. Okay, so down here in the output, we have two different things. We have a number, which comes from the num variable, this part right here. And then the other part is the object, which gets stored in this variable right here. In most cases, you're probably not going to need the number, so you can just use an underscore instead. So now let's say for each part inside of this model, I want to change the color to red. Let's take a look and see how we would do that. Okay, so if we want to change each part inside the model to red, we could do something like this. So the first thing we need to do, though, is make sure that whatever child we're on is a part. Because you saw down the output before that it also includes a script, but we can't change the color of the script. So what we're going to do first is check to see if the child is a part. And then as long as it's a part, then we'll go ahead and change its brick color. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so we can see that it almost worked except for the wedge here. And the reason for that, this is technically a wedge part. So this is what we would have to change in the script. So on the script here, we can change it from part to base part. And base part will include the other types of parts as well. And there we go. So now all the parts inside the model are red. Okay, so just as a quick recap for this for loop, we're going to use two counter variables. The first one we're probably not going to use, so you can just use an underscore for that. And then inside the parentheses, you're going to start with the model and say get children. And then inside the for loop, you can use the counter variable to change whatever parts you want to. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.